Alright, so today on the right garage, I'm going to be replacing this clutch pedal here. Uh, my old one, whenever I get it out, I'll show you. But where the cleavest pin goes, right here, the thing is just about broken through the metal on the other side because it's just so worn. I don't know, it's because there wasn't lubrication or what the problem was. What I'm hoping I can do is instead of removing the entire pedal box, I'm going to see if I can undo the bolt that's at the end of here and push it all the way through. Uh, I already un undid the uh, cleavage spin, of course, and then see if I can just drop the brake and the clutch pedal instead of removing the entire pedal box. And the reason I don't want to remove the pedal box is the pedal box is a pain in the butt. It's got a security nut on it. Uh, this thing's a complete mess right now from all the front end work I was doing. But, uh, okay, here's the pin I was talking about. I'm hoping I can just push this all the way out. Um, the pedal box is here, and underneath here, you're probably not going to be able to see them. But there's security bolts. And the way they work is they have a nut on them. But as soon as you start to tighten them and they get, you know, tightened down, they'll break off. Um, and that's so nobody can remove the, uh, the steering column. Actually, here's one of them right here. Um, yeah, so it's going to have a hex nut on the top, but it actually is designed to break off once it's tightened down. So I'm hoping I don't have to remove this because then I have to get new bolts to replace it. Um, additionally, from what I've seen, it can be a nightmare to actually undo since I have a power booster as well because the shaft goes all the way across the bottom of the car. Right, so I just want to show you what I did real quick. Um, I was looking at the assembly and it looks like the bolt is actually in between the brake pedal and the clutch pedal. So it's a very, very tight space. So what I did was I took a half inch uh, wrench and that's what the nut looked like it was to me and it uh, apparently is the right size. And I just ground it so it's nice and thin so it fit in between that space between the brake pedal and the clutch pedal. <clears throat> uh, this is a really cheap set that I had so I didn't mind grinding it down. And on top of that, there's a lot of uses for having a thin set but anyway, so up here, you can see there's some left and right wiggle room for the brake pedal. And if you look up here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a gap in between, like I said, where it meets. So I took my wrench here, and I've already undone it one turn. But it fits right up in there, right on that nut. And then now I'm just loosening it up. All right, so that worked. Uh, here's the pin that I was uh, using the uh, my modified spanner to get to on the other side. Um, the bolt's gonna be right here. It's a pretty long thread, I wasn't expecting that. Once I got to a certain point where it was loose enough, I was just able to twist this and get it undone that way. And just hold the spanner in one place. Uh, here's my clutch pedal. And the reason I'm replacing it, as you can see, it's just completely worn right there. And that's that little tiny bit of movement is going to create a lot of problems. I'm also going to put some Vaseline on the clevis pin to try to prevent this from happening anymore. All right, so I went ahead and put it back in. Um, the only thing I really want to mention, well, I have a lot less slack now. Uh, before I had almost, I don't know, probably an inch of travel before it actually started engaging. Now it's maybe a quarter inch. Um, but one thing I want to mention is make sure that when you tighten this back down, you get that pinhole back in the hole on the, uh, on the actual pedal box. That way it locks that pin in place. Um, let's see... Also, if you do do it, if you decide to do it this way, instead of remove the pedal box or removing the entire pedal box, the bolt that's up here is going to be a pain to get back in. You're just going to want to thread this very, very slowly. Uh, also, hold it, hold the nut in place. I used a, I used my spanner and put a uh, high power magnet at the back of it just to hold the nut in the actual spanner or in the wrench itself, and then I was able to tighten it down. Um, then after that, you can put the cleavage pin back in. If you took this out, you can go and replace this as well. Um, I took mine out because I was doing all the engine work in here. 
and hook all your lines back up and then go ahead and bleed your system. Uh, to bleed your system, you can either use a bleeder bottle. If you look down here, this is the slave cylinder. And right there at the end there is the bleeder valve. You can either use a bleeder bottle. Uh, what that is is va basically a vacuum line. goes into a bottle and uh, you put brake fluid at the bottom of the bottle and it'll suck the brake fluid in and push the brake fluid out and basically clear all the line of airs, air bubbles. Or you can have somebody inside uh, pumping the clutch pedal while you manually turn this. Uh, every time they depress the, uh, the clutch pedal, that'll also get the air out of the line. But, car's almost ready for the road. Just gotta put the dash back in, radio back in, all the electronics on the inside, the wheel arches, and then that'll be that.